Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my another video. Today I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on uh, Ivy Go Bar and also Ivy Go Blue. This is the uh, portable dongle deck. As you can see right now, it is in this very thick leather protective case. Later I'll be sharing the accessories with you as well. Uh, and also this Ivy Go Blue, which is the Bluetooth uh, headphone amplifier deck M which is also again in this very nice uh, meter case accessory which I'll be sharing with you so first of all I would like to talk about the iFigo bar first okay the iFigo bar I have IEMs like uh, MEST and also uh, Fearless X Clinical Dawn so previously I also have the uh, Luxury and Precision W2 which I sold uh, quite recently for the Ivy Go Bar, it's one of my favorite uh, dongle deck because it is really, really powerful and it actually uses the CS, they are not specific about the type of CS deck chip but the sound is very, really, you know, powerful, uh, kind of analog, cannot say 100% analog because I have the Kain uh, N62 Titanium which is the R2R, this is really analog okay because it's r to r there is no over processing from the uh, uh, delta sigma chip so this one is like 90 percent analog and it is very really powerful uh, at the moment it rated on the paper of 475 milliwatt on the balance and for the 3.5 it is the strongest as well it rated of 300 milliwatt on the 3.5 unbalanced output so it is really, really strong so this one is the box just let you guys see okay and i really enjoyed the uh, x base function um as well as the go blue so this is my daily to go dongle deck so let's talk about the go blue the go blue is a really nice really small form factor really convenient and i love the knob you know which is the more recent luxury precision w4 and w4 ex they also have this kind of knob maybe they are inspired by from ifi i'm not sure and you can also use it as the uh, usb deck as well but it limited to 24 uh, bit 96 kilohertz if you are pairing this i advise uh, you guys to get this ie match either 3.5 or 4.4 4. this one is the 4.4 uh, because this actually produce noise, this doesn't have any built-in IE match while the IFI Go Bar, it does build in the IE match as you can see here around here here is the IE match yeah, you can off it, you can select IE match for 4.4 or IE match for 3.5 which is here okay, so usually I run some 4.4 so I'll push it to the front which is near to the jack so this one is the IE match, which reduces the noise. If you off the IE match on iFigo but it does produce noise, but which is significantly uh, lower than this. This one produces a higher noise rate. Therefore, uh, I recommend if you guys are using sensitive headphones or IEMs, you really have to get this IE match from iFi. Or any other impedance adapter as well. It's also possible. Okay, so the difference between these two is that this is really powerful. This one is really aggressive. Like, 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 uh, you can imagine like those really muscular men hitting on a drum. Yeah, something like that. Both are warm sources. Don't get me wrong, but this one is slightly warmer because the base department, this one is really, really strong. It's like it gives you everything. It uh, rumbles a lot and then it also punches you real, real hard. While didn't sacrifice anything on the treble frequency. While for the iFigo Blue, it is also warm. The base department is strong uh, and I felt that the IFI Go Blue is kind of a slightly smoother sound, smoother signature compared to the Goba. Goba is like, you know, if you are familiar with the IM drivers, like like the significant difference between Nolus BA and Sonium BA is that Nolus BA is like uh, Goba, you know, like the Anoli VX is really nice, kind of a detail, but it's not that kind of naturally smooth detail and it's aggressive you know it's fun and aggressive 
Well, Ivy Go Blue kind of leaning to the uh, very smooth, you know, maybe it is due to the lower power output. So it is kind of a smoother sound, you know, more to kind of a relaxed, smoother kind of timbre. Yeah, if you will. So these are the two differences between them. And I would like to share with you the uh, frequency response because both of these, one of the main function I like it is the X base and the X base function. The Go bar has the X base plus, which I believe uh, it is more cleaner sounding than the uh, Go Blue. Don't get me wrong, Go Blue X base is also really, really good. This one, X base is the first gen X base which they tune in house. According to IFI, they are not using any uh, equalizer or digital processor. They mention on their web page, if not mistaken, or you can find it in hitfi.org. The X base actually is the process for the X base to boost the sub base. Now, I would like to show you the graph of the X base. You can see very clearly. This one is the graph of the X base. It is very clean because it only boosts a base which is below 100 Hz. You can see. Now, this one is the X base function. For me, in my opinion, the X base for very really dark IM is really useful. So, this one is the X base and X base if you own it. So, it actually gives you kind of a V shape impression of the IM itself yeah so these are the graphs and the function of the X base and X base and finally before hitting the 10 minute mark I want to talk about the accessory for this very beautiful IFI Go um, Blue I actually purchased the case from Meter okay let's take this away Meter is a very really high quality Korean uh, manufactured uh, cases which you can get it they are very famous for you know like Dignis meter which build cases for Aster and Kern DAPs and also Sony DAPs especially Sony and so this one is the meter case you can purchase IFI own original leather case which is this which comes with the clip okay really nice color but I prefer meter case because it is smaller and I mean the big the big quality is definitely I mean to my preference is better than the IFI original case but the price is very steep okay just bear in mind the price of this is very steep well for the IFI Go bar um, this can be found in Aliexpress okay so I purchased two colors uh, one is the black one and one is the brown one uh, this is not brown this is like golden kind of brown so I like the black one, therefore I'm selling this uh, golden brown one, okay, it comes in a package like this and this is the case, very, very nice, but nothing special, it doesn't have any logo on it and it actually mark all the details here, okay, and also the punch hole are very accurate so yeah, these are my two cents and before we go, this is the uh, Shanling L3 which uses the pure silver cable from Neotech. I mean before that I doesn't believe USB cable the type of material actually will influence the sound uh, but after I swap it with the original uh, I see go blue USB cable which is this one yeah this guy here the sound actually differs a lot you know the pure silver one because this one is is quite warm aggressive if you are using pure silver it is recommended to use um, pure silver USB-C cable to how to say this have a better treble I believe and actually it polishes the sound not really not really not really significantly but you can hear the difference yeah so I use this as the daily pairing for the iFigo bar so you can take note on that, the type of USB cable actually does give an impact, not significant but just maybe slight impact but for the long run you will hear differences, yeah so thank you and have a nice day, see you next time, bye.